discretion is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and today I'm playing the Wingspan Automa Solo Variant with the European Expansion. Uh, that burp was not to indicate what I think about the European Expansion, but uh, I figured I would give give this game the old college try. Um, and yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got is the birds that I chose were the Anhinga, right there. There's the Anhinga, the American White Pelican. You can actually barely see it. And then the Eurasian Tree Sparrow. So all these nice little birds. Um, in the solo variant, the player always goes first. So it is round one. And my bonus card is the Ethologist. In any one habitat, I get two points per power color. So I guess a max of eight points. The perfect aviary to me would, uh, would consist of two of every single type of, of bird, like male and female, uh, just like in Noah's Ark, the, in the true, the true one and true scripture. And like, it would just be vast amounts of land with every single type of terrain possible that could house every single one of these different species. I don't, it doesn't matter how many they are. That is the perfect aviary to me. And that there's uh, no death whatsoever. They all just keep reproducing and continuing to live. And uh, there's no fighting amongst uh, other species either. It's just perfect peace. And uh, oh, and they only chirp when they're wanting to mate. So like it's not constant just, you know, chirping. That drives me insane. It makes me want to blow my brains out. Um, let's see. Oh, and, and like, they, they, they come when called. Oh, and they can also speak, like, fluent English. Let's see, what do we got up here? We have the Savi's Warbler, the Chihuahuan Ch 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 Raven, and the Atlantic Puffin. Okay. Well, I think the first action that I'm going to want to do, what do I need? Eggs in the forest forest region. Mm, 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 mm. None of my birds can really hold hold a lot of... Ooh, man, the Atlantic Puffin. That costs three three fish? Well, I have a fish. Um, okay, so I don't really know what he's going to do, but I definitely want more bonus cards, and that Atlantic Puffin is... Um, let's see. Yeah. That also costs a lot of fish, and I don't really have... Ooh, that's right. Okay, so that bums me out over there. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to spend one. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm going to spend one. I'm going to draw a bird. I'm going to get the Atlantic Puffin just uh, just to hold on to it, and that, that would be that. So it's going to go, and it is actually going to... Let me slide this over a little bit more. It is going to get rid of, let's see. Oh, actually it's right there. I need to get this closer to me. That's a little bit better. So it's gonna get rid of, of that one. And actually you can see what's really neat is that it actually came with like little player aids. So yeah, so uh, clearly it's just gonna take get you know get rid of all all those dice and then it would activate all pink powers well i don't have any pink powers so that bums me out oh this gets replaced so the greater road runner that's gonna get right there and let's see okay so now that i have that oh i could have huh i need i need birds actually none of, one bird i have can actually go up in the in the tree nest but and that's worth eight points. It's all eggs. Okay. And there's no fish over there. I really have no... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. My second action, I will I will use to gain a, a food. I will do that, and I'm going to gain a... Ooh, I have to reach a little bit. I'm going to gain a, a wheat. All right, that was my turn. So now this one, it's just going to 
take all bird cards uh, that match the bonus card. So birds that are worth three or four points. So, oh, it's actually three or four, not not higher. Okay. Yep, that match. Alma keeps highest point value card face up and discards any others. Okay, so well, there's actually a bird that is worth four points. If none match, it draws one and keeps it face down. So that's what that's what it's gonna do. So now this gets replaced with a Brewer's Blackbird. All right. So now I need to get some birds out. So what I will do is I'm gonna spend this fish. Yay! And two wheat as a fish to play my Anhinga. And that's going to go right there. Oh, that goes there. This gets played right there. So when activated, I roll all dice not in the bird feeder. If any are fish, I gain one fish and cash it on this card. This bird is called Snake Bird. It swims with only head and neck above water. That's kind of, oh, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> that's, that's really creepy, actually. All right, so I already have a wicked fear of the ocean and, and really kind of any water that I can't see the bottom. So if I was, if I happen to be in there and I see a fucking bird that like swims through it and its neck is like above, just like beaming towards me, that is just, <laughs> that is just terrifying because it probably has like black eyes as well. That is just like, it's like, I, I wouldn't know what the fuck it is. And even though it's a bird, and I and I, I I like birds, I think they're they're cute and stuff. But like one that can swim like a snake in the fucking water is just horrific. Okay, well that was that. So now it's its turn. Let's see, round one, right there. It's gonna gain an egg, and oh, it's right here. Um, and it is going to place one cube on the goal tile. So I'll just kind of get that as close to that as possible. All right, now it is my turn. So I need to figure out ways. I mean, the Anhinga is going to be the best best thing that I'm going to get some fish. But there's probably should have kept that, that nest. Because the American White Pelican, I need fish to do its ability. I could get a good combo going with the Anhinga, uh, if I had played, if I had played this right. So I should have done the White Pelican first and then the Anhinga because if I do the White Pelican or, or if I do the Anhinga, then I could get some, some fish and then the American White Pelican, I can discard the fish to tuck two cards from the deck behind this bird. I didn't do that. So I suck. Um, that can hold two, two eggs, but that's not really gonna, that's not really gonna do a whole lot. The Savvy's Warbler, I could, when activated, draw two from all other players discard one, draw one from the deck. Uh, clearly, uh, it, it does not activate from brown power, so that's pretty good. The Brewer's Blackbird, tuck a card from my hand behind this bird. If I do, also lay one egg on that bird. Uh, that's okay. And when activated, look at the top from the deck. If less than 50 centimeters, tuck it under this card. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. I can go like kind of a tuck tuck way. Um Okay, so here's here's what I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna take a another another die and that's gonna give me a grub. So at least I'll have the double grub thing. Now it is its turn. It is going to let's see, well it's only gonna get it's gonna get rid of both of these. Ooh. Okay. And activate all pink cards, so that's not that's not happening. Now it is my turn, and I think I will draw a bird card. Let's see. Tuck it. So which one do I want? The Greater Roadrunner is worth a lot of points, and I might be able to just activate a look at the card. If it's less, tuck it under this card. Okay. Yep, I'll take the Greater Roadrunner. Sounds pretty neat. Ooh, Clark's Grebe. All right. Then I will roll all dice, not in the bird feeder. And if any are fish, I gain fish and cash it. Okay, none of them were fish, so that's pretty cool. Thanks a lot, and Hinga, you're gonna die. You're gonna starve. All right, so now it's its turn. So it is just gonna gain an egg, and that's it. That's it, just gaining an egg. Now, I still have an action. I need to get some more, so I, I will get a 
get some more food. Eh. One, two, three. Oh no, four, five. You think I would have set this up a little bit, a little bit better? It looks so nice on camera. Does it still look nice? It does. All right, man. Still no fish, huh? Okay. Well. Okay, I did get some some mice, so I will take a mouse and reach. Okay, so now I got a mouse. All right, so that would be this person's turn. So it is going to oh discard all three birds. That's pretty neat. Discard all three birds. The Alma draws one card and keeps it face down. Sure. Face down bird. Now these will all get replaced. So we have a Eurasian magpie. Ooh. Hmm. That's pretty. Uh, well, one from the supply on any of your birds. For each act. That's a really good ability. But, uh, I mean, I don't know how that would work against the Automa. I'd have to look at the... Your, oh, hey. Eurasian nutcracker. Choose one to five birds in your, in your thing. Catch... One wheat from your supply on each. Okay. And then the Eastern Bluebird. Play a second bird in your thing. Normal cost. All right. So let's see. Eurasian Magpie. Let's see if it has anything specific against Automas. Um, bring around and play. Ask you to choose one other player. Or any. Um, um, it has a number of items being checked equal to the number of Automa cubes on the current. Okay. So that's actually pretty good then. That is pretty pretty good. Alright, so what I can do, I can actually play my Greater Roadrunner, but it's going to be here. And if I could get... Oh. I could get that play, though I wouldn't be able to get any eggs on it. The Eurasian Tree Sparrow. Um... Dang. Okay. And there's still no fish. I need a lot of fish to be able to do that. Uh, and any one habitat, I could with a power color... That's going to be pretty difficult, too. I mean, I could... My Atlantic Puffin will be a white one. The... What I'm thinking is the Eurasian Magpie is choose one other player for each action cube on their other thing. Well, it's another player, and it doesn't have its own board. So it would... Like I mentioned, each cube there. So I would be able to cash one of anything from the supply on any of my birds. Which is pretty good, because that stuff can be used like normal. Hmm. Okay. But I can play my Greater Roadrunner right now, which I might do uh, just to get the ball rolling on more abilities. And I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to spend my two grub and my mouse to play my Greater Roadrunner. When activated, oh, need to put that there. When activated, look at the card from the deck. If it's less than 50 centimeters, tuck it under this card. Roadrunners rarely fly, but will jump up to snatch prey out of the air, which might be its its ability thematically. Okay, so now it is that player's turn, so it's going to do the same thing. All right, well, never mind. Never mind. It's going to get rid of those three, put this one face down, and then that's the end of its turn, and it is going to do a Eurasian Greek wood green woodpecker, Wilson Storm Petrel, and a Eastern Kingbird. Okay. Let's see. Wilson Storm Petal, draw one from each empty card slot in this row. At the end of your turn, keep one and discard the rest. That's pretty good. And the round end, this burst counts double towards the end of round goal if it qualifies for the goal. Well, that wouldn't matter right now, but it could matter in, in the future. All right. So here's what I... I'm going to do. I have one cube left. I have no, like, no, no, you know, resources. And I have, I could do that, but that's not going to help me. I need to start, I need to get some more resources. So the best thing that I could get is, uh, let's actually go for the berry. Oh God, that's so far away. All right, all right. Eh, Barry, Barry, I did it. All right, all right, then that's gonna go there. All right, so I was first player, so it's gonna do one more action. And it is gonna get a, get a, oh, it's actually gonna take, take the, take the cube off. Interesting. 
All right. So with that being said, that is the end of the round. Okay, so just like normal, um, like Don, since he actually took his cube off, he is actually not getting any points for that one. Uh, neither am I, so that's going to be zero. So now what we do is we flip this. So now it's round two. And do we remove anything? Okay, so we get rid of this one after round one. Then that's after round three. That's always going to stay, always going to stay. Okay, so then these get shuffled. Oh yeah, let's do a little ASMR wingspan. Hear the flutter of the birds. I don't know what that was. That was clearly not a flutter of wings. Here, that's a little better. You hear that shuffling of the cards? Do you like the shuffling of the Automa cards? Do you, do you like my soothing voice? Return the map. Return what you have stolen from me. Okay, I think that's enough horrible ASMR. Uh, I don't know why I'm still whispering. All right. Oh, well, that was end of round, so these are gone. Stupid birds. All right. Oh, a California condor. That's pretty good. The common merganser and the ash-throated flycatcher. All right. Neat. So this is birds in in the in the in the thing in in the wildlands in the in the plains area. That's even better. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and immediately. All right. Let's let's get a resource. So I'm gonna get a a little wheat. And that's that. It is its turn. Ooh, so now it is taking two eggs. Oh, that sucks. It's like way over there. Well, a good thing there's plenty. So two eggs. And removing a cube doesn't have a cube to remove. That's actually pretty interesting how the round tracker d it dictates like like what 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 round it's doing stuff. What that what types of action? Okay. So. Now, with that being said, I'm going to play, or I'm going to take a, take a bird. I want the California condor. Then, uh, that's the only one I'm taking. Then, I will activate and roll these three and hopefully gain some... Yay! Oh, there's actually two. If any are, are uh, uh, fish, then a fish gets placed on him. That's pretty good. So... So that was that. Now it's its turn, and it is gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna get two eggs. I really need to start laying some eggs. Two eggs and remove a cube. It doesn't have a cube. Then, my turn. I am going to play nothing. I am actually going to lay some eggs finally, and I'll put them on my greater road runner. Okay. Then it's gonna get activated. So. Hey, the Inca Dove. Oh, that's a pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> pretty bird. If you... Can you say pretty bird? Uh, so that's going to get tucked underneath the greater roadrunner. Um, like, if you... Okay, so what that was quoted from... Uh, if you haven't seen Dumb and Dumber, one, what's wrong with you? And two... That's the scene where, like, they sold their dead parent <laughs> to the blind kid. <laughs> oh, man, so funny. All right, round two, it's going to... Oh, which one is that one? Look, oh, yeah, take all the bird cards, so that are three or four points. Um, the Anima keeps up to two of them, so the higher value first. So it will take that one, and that's that, because the rest are worth five. All right. My turn. Now I have some eggs that I can play. So I'm going to play a bird here. California condor. That is a ugly ass bird, by the way. Like without, without a doubt, one of probably one of the ugliest in the whole deck. And there's like 200 there. Um, but when played, I draw two bonus cards and keep one. So uh, prairie manager, uh, birds that can only live in the 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 thing 
Um, or falconer birds with a when oh that's a ooh, that's a, that's a good one. Two do okay so I'm gonna go with well, what do I have in my hand? <sighs> okay so birds that can only live in the wildlands so not the forest and not the not the whatever it's fucking called the the, the water area. Um, that's nineteen percent, which would get me. Two, if I get two, two to three birds, so I have one. If I get one more, which there's none up there. If it, if it was wetlands, oh man, I'd be shitting. But uh, falconer sounds a little bit better. I, I might actually be able to pull off the falconer one. At least right now I'm getting four points. Because I have two of those abilities, which is lucky. Lucky me! Uh, and I need to play the the egg to do so. Okay, now it's its turn. And it is going to get two eggs. I guess it's just egg city over here. Two eggs, and it's actually going to put one of its cubes on the thing. Okay, now it is my turn. Well, I don't have... Huh. Oh, that goes there. Okay, so if I go to draw a card, what's there? Roll all dice, not on the bird feeder, if any. I could get another common wetland one which would allow me to um huh huh oh that's weird that's a big bird that's a really big bird the gray heron 185 centimeters uh, unfortunately i don't know what the conversion is for for that um Thank you, Google. Let's go ahead and check that out. So, 185 cm, cm, uh, in inches. That is 72 inches. Uh, in other words, that is a six foot, that is a six foot bird? That is a giant ass bird. That is as tall as I am. But you place this card side, so that covers two water spaces. Unfortunately, it doesn't help. That is, that is insane. Um, well, I want that one, uh, but, 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 I guess it gets. Oh well, I guess it would get you to the higher one first. That's pretty good. Okay, I see. I see the the appeal of that one. But the common mer merganser um, does the exact same ability that my and and Hinga does, and I need a lot of freaking. I need a lot of freaking. I need a lot of freaking fish, okay? So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I want the common merganser. And then I'm gonna roll these and get one fish. Yay! Um, whoops. So, I will cash another fish on the Anhinga. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Okay. Then, huh, okay. Still need more fish, but uh, it's going to be his turn. So uh, he is going to do the exact same thing. Oh, ooh, ooh, the Bongolay's eagle. That's pretty good. And it's a falcon. So, uh, but he is going to take that one face up. So that is that. Uh, let's see. So the Bonalay's eagle, when played for each uh, uh, mouse in this bird in this bird's cost, you may pay one from your hand instead. If you do, tuck the paid. Oh, that's even better. Okay, hell yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna, I am want the Bonalay's eagle, and I can go anywhere. Bonalay's eagle. And then I will roll these three again. Yeah, hell yeah. Another fish. Um, so, that's going to get me what I need. Like, give me what I need, daddy. Daddy-o. All right. So, and I'll be able to play one more. So, it's going to be the Onima's turn. Uh, round two, it is going to take a, a mouse out of here. Okay. And then activate all pink powers. I don't have any pink powers, so that's not happening. And now, okay, so here's what I got. Here's what I got. I don't have any mice. 
Um, so I can't do the Bone Lays Eagle yet, but I could, I can get my Atlantic Puffin out because I have the three and that's worth eight points. Or I can just pay the one fish and one of my berries or something to get the common one out. Or I can pay the two fish, get the American White Pelican out. That will, dis and then with the ability to discard the f a fish to tuck two from the deck behind this bird. Then I can play the common Merganser, um, which will have the ability that Hinga does. And if I get a fish, then I can then use it on the American White Pelican. Then, <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going all wetlands. I think, I, think that's what I'm, I think that's what I'm going for. So, it's not that I'm trying to go for like a wetland strategy. There's really not like a whole, I mean, there's a valid reason for trying to excel in in one of the three tracks because you either can get a lot of food, a lot of eggs, or a lot of a lot of cards. And I guess I just I was just going with what was dealt to me. So I have you know wetland birds, I can get them out, and, and essentially I get more birds to try and get into my aviary to counteract what the automa is going to get. So I mean it's kind of working out. Uh. So yeah, I'm gonna pay the two fish. Boop. Um, oh yeah, that's the last. So I have to get rid of an egg to play the American white pelican, uh, which says pelicans work together to herd fish and then scoop them up. They're they're weird. Like that was that 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 little neck thing. Um, wait, how big was that? Was that one giant one? Oh, that's one they took. Uh. 185. Oh, that's actually not that. That must be its wingspan. I think that's its wingspan. Um, so, the, uh, yeah, that, that, that has to be a wingspan. There's no way that bird is, is okay, because uh, the American White Pelican is 274, and it shows the wings, so that, yeah, there's no way that, that's, a, that's an 8-foot tall bird. That's the wingspan. I feel silly. Okay, so that was my my turn. Now it is going to be this turn. Uh, it is going to get rid of that one and activate all white powers. So now uh, it is going to be end of round scoring. So it has one. So it's actually going to come in second place. I have two in there, so I will come in first place. Yay! And then uh, that's going to be that. So... These are gonna come off, and I uh, need to get rid of round two cards. So remove after the end of round two, and I think, okay, so yeah, there's only one card that's getting removed after each round, because the next one will be round three, which gets, this gets flipped over. Oh, lame, couldn't be that easy. Oh, hey, we're back to the, <laughs> we're not back to ASMR. I absolutely despise ASMR, actually. Um, but, and I think I've talked about it on other, other, you know, run-throughs before, but the worst one is mukbang. And it just sounds disgusting. You would think it'd be like some type of sexual thing, which it very well might be. But it's just when nasty-ass people fucking just eat, like, the most, I mean, the food always looks really good, but they're just like, it's just so, it's so gross. All right, so those are getting replaced. Then we have the common blackbird. Bye bye, blackbird. Don't know why this is in a lullaby. Okay, so let's do. I still. Oh, hey, this is gonna work out. No, it's not. I don't have any eggs. I'm gonna get some eggs though. Yay! And let's give one to my American White Pelican, give it the white one. Let's give the Great Roadrunner that one. And sure, the California Condor is an ugly ass bird. So it gets a purple one. Um, not saying that purple's ugly, because it's not. Uh, the California Condor does nothing but the Greater Roadrunner does. Uh, that is less than, f that's actually pretty generous. That's the common starling, 38, 38 centimeters. So that's gonna get tucked under there. Yay! Oh no! I thought it would stay. Alright. So, alright, that's kind of working out. Now it's their turn. Uh, they are going to discard 
all three here. I didn't even really look at them. Um, and then draw one and keeps it face down. Boop. And now what do we got? We got the parrot crossbill. Remove any one from the bird feeder and gain one from the supply. Okay. Sprags, Sprags Pippet. Aw, that sounds cute. And the Eurasian J. Hey. Okay. So now, now what I can do is play, play a bird, get rid of an egg right there. And then I am going to get rid of this fish. And I don't think I need berries for anything. Nope. And a berry to play my common Merganser, which does the activated thing um, that the Anhinga does. And I will, uh, adult males can eat fish more than a foot long. Well, that's interesting. Didn't expect it to be able to do that. That's pretty cool. All right. So now it is its turn. And, oh, it's getting three eggs. Three eggs. Oh, and the goal for this one is, oh, eggs in, um, who? Okay, eggs in a ground nest. So far, I'm winning with two. All right. I, well, I might be able to pull that off. Okay. So, I want to draw a card. And I actually, I get to draw two cards. And I definitely want the Sprags Prit. Because that gives me more bonus cards. And I have a resource that already matches that. And, let's see. The Eurasian J steal one from a, another player's supply and cash it on this card. They gain one from the bird feeder. Um, I'll take one from the top. Okay, Western Tanager, gain one. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. That's also a very pretty bird. So, now we have the Golden Eagle. Ooh, oh, that needs three as well. But actually, all right, well, we'll see, we'll see. So now we have the, okay, so round three, it is going to be getting two more eggs. And it just collects a bunch of eggs, and it will put one of its things on the goal. So now it's one of my two. Now it's my turn. Oh wait, I completely forgot to activate this. So now I roll all dice, not in the bird feeder. Eh. Okay, so one, one fish. Okay, so that's gonna ca get cashed there. Um, I could discard that to tuck two, but I'm not gonna do that yet. But the Anhinga, eh. All right, one bird, or another, another one fish which will then get tucked on there. All right, that's work. That's that's working out. Hmm. <laughs> I might get the Let's see. But birds with Huh. Okay. Well, that is now. That turns so it's going to take this level 4. Boop. That's the only one that's level 3 or 4. And then that's going to get replaced with the Juniper's Titmouse. <laughs> um, all right. My turn. Now, I have two fish. So now I am going to actually... Okay. I could play... Well, okay. So let's do this. Let's get one. There's uh, not... Not any in there now, so that's gonna get replaced. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on. There's that, that. Those are not getting rolled that well. That sucks. Okay, okay. Well, okay, not the worst thing. I am gonna take this, which will get me a grub, which I still, I still needed, so that's that. His turn, round three. Gonna get a bird. Oh, hey, there's a level four. Okay, so there's a four. That's the only one there. Now we have the black skimmer. Okay. Probably to really try and go Excuse for me. it. That's worth six points. Oh, and it's gonna place a cube. But I will have cube a chance, so I'm going to actually play. Hmm. That is not as good as I was wanting. I'm not gonna use that one. I'm really not gonna use that one. But I don't have another, I don't have another mouse to be able to get rid of the, to play the Bonalee's Eagle. But I really want to play these two. All right, let's go for it. Okay, so I'm going to play 
that, get rid of my wheat and grub, and it's fine because I'll, I'll be able to play a thing. So I'm going to play the Sprags Pipit, which this rare bird's mating display can last for over an hour. That thing really wants to get laid. When played, draw two bonus cards and keep one. All right, so I got the Bird Bander. Birds that can live in multiple habitats. That's not as good. Birds that have at least four... Oh, God. That's... that's. I Can I even have... I have one bird that can hold... That's not... Hmm. These were awful. These are awful. Uh, the breeding manager's really... the can That can only hold one. Oh, man. All my birds can only hold, like, one. Ugh. Ugh. That is not that great. Okay. Well... Birds that can live in multiple habitats will most likely not be happening. Because uh, I need at least... Well, that might be possible. That'll be four points if I can get four birds. I'm about to play the Bone Leaves Eagle, the Eurasian Tree... That's that's rough. That is, that is rough. Because I've only been playing wetland ones. But I think that's probably easier than the egg. So let's get the breeding manager one. So that's that. That's 31% of cards. Two of my things, my bonus cards, are actually from the expansion. All right, let's see. Okay, so it is going to get rid of one of the, actually both of these. So so that's uh, activate all pink powers. I don't have any. Okay, so with that being said... What was I going to do with my last one? Oh, I was going to lay eggs. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to get three eggs. Yay! Uh, let's put them all... Oh, wait. It needs to be on... Okay, so that can hold... There's that one. Ooh, hey, there we go. Awesome. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look at the top one if it's less than 50. It is. It's a rose-breasted grosbeak. Aw. These are so pretty. Uh, and that will get tucked under the, I mean, the Roadrunner is jumping up to catch it and eat it, but it's still pretty. That has worked out quite well. All right. So now it's going to be this one. It's going to get rid of both these wheat. Okay. And activate pink powers, which I don't have. So with that being said, it is going to be, that has, uh, well, so the, the end of round for goal scoring Yama has base value from end of round uh, goal scoring cards plus any cubes on the goal tile. So, um, flip current round tracker so next round is visible. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I, I mean, I, I have the most, so, but it does have some. So I will be going on first place. It will be going on second. And now it's going to get all its cubes back. I get all my cubes back. And then these all go away. And now we are on the last round. So, last one. That one's a little weird. I think it's birds with, but it would just have the nest, right? Like, let's see. Oh, hey, here we go. Here is the, the appendix. So that ability. Count the total number of birds with this specific nest type that have at least one egg. Okay, so it, it was exactly what I thought it was, but just... So, basically, number of birds with that type of nest, which is the, the ground ground one. No, that was what I just said. I never remember what the bird, the nest types are. Except the cavity one. So, it is platform. Okay, so platform nest, not in the, in the one I was using for the second one was grounds. So, okay. As with every type of, you know, solo variant against an AI, I never quite know how well I'm doing. Like, I feel like I'm doing pretty good, like, in terms of just how I'm playing, but it's hard to compare against a player that you can't read, you can't predict what they're going to do or, or anything like that, and you can't really kind of count how much points they have because... A lot of it's just kind of hidden. I I mean, I feel like I'm actually doing all right. So, I only I have two birds that have a platform nest. All right. Now, it is my turn. So, I can definitely go with that. And I think... What do we have? Ooh, the Northern Goshawk. 
has the same ability um, when played. I can actually spend cards and tuck them under there to play it. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I will do that. So I'm going to draw two, and I want the Northern Goshawk and the Chipping Sparrow. Then I will roll all dice, not in the tray. Boop! Yay! I will tuck a fish on him. Then I could discard one, which I'm not going to do. <sighs> or should I? Because the chances of me, I'm rolling all dice, that should give me a... Um, okay, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to spend, spend a fish to tuck two birds underneath the white pelican, meaning that I caught some food. Yay! And then I'll roll dice. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So it ended up paying off anyway. Yay! So there's that. And that's that. Oh, I forgot to shuffle these. But it is round four. And we are removing one more card after round three. I think that's the only one. Yep. So now it's probably just going to start collecting a bunch of... Probably a bunch of eggs. And I think that's sufficiently shuffled. All right. Last round. So, yep. Oh, it may help if I... Let's say round four. and or, or three or four points. Okay. So it's getting another level four. And then that's going to go there. American Robin. All right. So I now can finally play one there. Uh, Got to get rid of two eggs. But I and three fish boop, to play the Atlantic Puffin. Um, puffins breeding areas are threatened by climate change. Well, that's depressing. So, but when I get to draw, I get bonus cards. Oh, all right. Birds with a food cost of three food. That is, th that's two. Okay. Um, and that might actually work out. And, or f birds with colors in their names. Um, colors include ash, black, blue, bronze, brown, cerulean, chestnut, for Okay, there's a bunch. Uh, so I have the, I have one. I have white, and I need two of the three birds. So I'm definitely going to take the diet specialist. That's that's what I got. So I'll actually score points off of that. Yay! All right. Mm, 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 mm. Why don't I have birds that can live in multiple habitats? That, hmm, okay. Okay. That's pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right, so now, yep, getting three eggs. Jesus Christ. Three eggs and placing a cube on there. All right, my turn. So birds, I can, I need four to five. So I have one, oh no, one, one. All right, I need three birds that can live in multiple habitats. Um, which is, uh, uh, can I do that? I would need to play a bird Oh, we need to play a bird each, each time. And I don't, I don't know if I can do that. Cause the best one is this one, which I can get rid of this. I, yeah, I, hmm, well, all right. Well, I am gonna play a bird. I am gonna be playing the Bonalese Eagle. Uh, which will at least give me some points for the falconer. And I'm going to get rid of... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get rid of these three. Because I don't have any any mice, and I don't have the time to be able to do that. So, uh, yeah, for each... Yep, so those three, I'm getting rid of the Chipping Sparrow, the Western Tanager, and the Eurasian Tree Sparrow. So, and this is going to go live in the 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 forest uh senu the scouting eagle in assassin's creed origins is a is a bonalese eagle that's really cool that they have a a reference to a video game in here in assassin's creed origins that's really neat i did not know what type of bird that was 
All right. Now, yep, three eggs and one cube on there. All right. So I, let's see. Huh. Well, I want to draw three, um, but there's nothing there. I might get lucky and get stuff that's free, like the California Condor, but I don't think that that's happening. Um, but I know I can do this and play it, but I need, I need birds. I need birds. Um, or I need eggs. So let's do that. Let's get some eggs. So I'm gonna get three eggs and it'll be worth points at the end. I need them on birds with so the pelican is a wild. And let's do the Anhinga. Yay, and then the Greater Roadrunner, look at the top. It is 30 centimeters, yay! The Northern Cardinal, hey, that's a, that's a pretty common one. And the Greater Roadrunner is gonna, gonna go ahead and snag that one up as well. Autumn's turn, three more. <laughs> Three more eggs, it has so many. Can you guys see how many it has? Yes, you can. And it's gonna remove a cube. Interesting. All right, one action left. Um, and let's see, this isn't happening. What could I do? I could get more eggs and in any one habitat, uh, Mm. Oh, I did not. I completely forgot about that one. So, birds with a. That's one, two. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay. The bird bander's not happening. I couldn't couldn't get it. No, but birds with a food cost of three food. That's one, two, three. Okay. So I got that. If I can get, didn't couldn't get one more. Um. So that's a thing. I mean, yeah, I mean, my best bet is to actually kind of go through here or more eggs or more eggs. So yeah, eggs are worth points at the end. That's, that's honestly the best one. So I'm gonna get three, uh, put two on the greater road runner and then one actually on the bone lays eagle. Yay. And then the automa's last turn is gonna be to uh, re-roll all these dice, which I'm just gonna throw them in because it's, uh, it's not gonna matter. All right, so that is the end. It is gonna be, I mean, I have one, two, three, four birds uh, with eggs on there. Um, and I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get it. So I'm gonna get first place, but it does have one. So it'll get second place now. We do end game scoring, so it is me. So Seth versus the uh, Auto Automa. So amount on cards. So I did normal difficulty, so it's going to get four cards for face down, and then how much it has. So so that's going to be twelve right there because I had two face down ones, and then it has one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five fours, so 23. 23. And then I have, oh, okay, so that's 10. Okay, so let me do, do, do quick math. So that's, okay, so that's 10, 20, 28, 29, 35, 43. I had 43 total. Okay, bonus cards. It has, um, uh, Oh, I think this is kind of what it goes for. Birds that are worth three or four points. The Automa keeps up to two of them. Okay, so. Um, oh, okay, it's, it's grayed out because so, it doesn't do that. So birds that can live in multiple habitats. I needed to have four to five birds. I have one, two, two, actually. So I didn't get anything for that one. Falconer. Birds with the death power. So I have one, two, three, four. So that's going to be eight. Eight points, and then any one habitat, um, two two, you know, points per power color. Uh, I'll choose the the water one, so that's going to be 
four points, so 12. And then birds with a food cost of three food, I have one, two, and three. So uh, what was that, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I, I got 15 points off of that one. End of round goals. So it's gonna be five, so 11, 18. And then it got second in each, so two, uh, five, so nine. Eggs, God, okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Um, all right, so yeah, eight. Whoop. Oh, I actually forgot to look at the the, bot, the top card. Uh, that actually is the first one that doesn't. It was a wood duck, so it did not. It was not less than fifty. Eggs over here. Okay, so two stupid rolling eggs. Two, four, six, eight. Damn it. Eight, yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty three. Jesus Christ, twenty three. Food on cards, I actually don't have any. It doesn't do that, so. And then tucked cards. Yay, also doesn't do it. But I know I definitely got some of those. That was kind of my whole shtick. So I have tucked cards there. I have tucked cards up on the eagle. And I have tucked cards on the roadrunner, so. To be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tucked cards. So it's gonna be nine points. Alright. So let's see what we got. So it's gonna be 46, 46, 58, 58, 67. Okay. And then I mean I already know I won just by sheer mass, but let's do this. So it's gonna be eight plus three, so fifty-one, sixty-one. 61, 76, 76, 84, 84, um, 93. All right. So, final score is me at 93 to the Automa at 67. So, uh, that was the uh, solo variant, everyone, for Wingspan and the Wingspan European expansion. I hope you enjoyed. Click the I to go to the discussion. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.